Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's vlog, we will be fixing one of the refrigerated containers or the reefer. This reefer was found in stop operation. And as you can see, the supply and return temperature is just minus 4.5 and the set point is minus 18. When I checked the alarm list, I found out that there are two alarms on it and these are the alarm 25 and alarm 58 when i checked the alarm 25 and i found out that it is the condenser fan motor safety and the alarm 58 is the compressor high pressure switch to analyze these two alarms they are related to each other when i check the discharge pressure of the compressor i found out that it is not really that high since the compressor is not running it is just around 3.3 bars which is this code 14 so i was thinking that these two alarms are related to each other the reason why the high pressure switch of the compressor was activated is because the condenser fan motor did not run and since this did not run and while the compressor is running of course the discharge pressure will build up and eventually will activate the high pressure switch once it reach the limit pressure so what we need to do is to reset this high pressure switch and we need to investigate what is the condition of this condenser fan motor and to know what is the real deal or what is the real problem onto this condenser fan motor we need to check or we need to know if it will run once we reset the unit so i switch off this reefer container and then try to reset the alarm the alarm was reset for a while onto the controller and i need to measure the incoming and outgoing voltage from our contactor this is to confirm that both lines are having 440 volts since the contactor was activated and as you can see that our lines is having 440 volts and even if it is activated our condenser fan motor is not rotating so we need to check if it is a freewheeling fan or not otherwise if we cannot rotate it it means we need to change the electrical motor and since it is freewheeling i need to check now the condition of the capacitor of this condenser fan motor it has a capacitor since it is only a single phase 440 volts so i open and check the below side of this electrical motor where we can find the capacitor and as you can see it is already bulged or bloated as they can as they say and i just need to replace this capacitor and we will check if the unit will run afterwards so be careful when you are doing this um, job since it is a rotating machinery and then i need to reset the alarm from our controller the high pressure switch alarm 58 since it is still activated because of the safety system onto the condenser it was activated also so i will let the unit to run and check if the condenser fan will also run and then i need to monitor the discharge pressure from our controller if it will really goes high or it will really reach the maximum while it is running then i need to check again the discharge condition of our refrigeration system as you can see the condenser fan motor is now running and when i check the code 14 from our controller the pressure could not even exceed 11 bar pressure which is a good sign that there is no problem onto our refrigeration cycle onto its refrigerant pressure onto the discharge side so 
I can now remove this bypass wire from the compressor and it was really stopped since it is now in open condition. So I need to put back the high pressure switch connection after I reset the alarm. And when I put back the connection of our high pressure switch, the compressor immediately ran as you can see the indication light onto the upper left of the display. And so for now, the unit is running in good condition. The condenser is running as well as there is no more alarm into our controller. And as you can see, the temperature started to pull down. When I check the pressure, it is just around 10.2 bar, which is now in good condition.